Who are you? My name's Aileen. My real name's Al, but truth be told, I ain't from this planet, y'all. Alien? They call me. Why are you here? I saw y'all in there. They like nice people. Thought maybe I'd bail you out. Give me your first, your gut reaction the first time you saw James Franco dressed up as his character. Oh, man. You shocked. I, I, I was so nervous, too. He walked on set, and we hadn't rehearsed with him before, and I just didn't know what to expect. And uh, was it hard not to laugh when you're face to face with him? I don't think no. his character was funny. Yeah, I, think I think he, he, was, he was, yeah, like yeah. sinister and charming. Yeah. How do you think this film speaks to your generation, speaks to, to women of your age, and kind of how does it fit, you know, kind of within your generation of people? I think people are going to yeah. be shocked, but I yeah. think that's what Harmony wanted. I mean, he loves to shock people. and. I don't know, I think when people see this film so far, um, this is the first time that um, it'll be seen in America, so that's super excited. Um, but in Europe, everybody was, they loved it, they, they thought it was amazing, they were shocked. Um, but it's just a fun, it's a fun movie. I mean, Spring Breakers, you think, oh, it's just about Spring Break, but it's not. The first 10, 15, 20 minutes, fine. But that it takes like a dark turn and I think that's what makes the movie so special, because you have no idea what you're in for. And I think people are going to react the way they're going to react. If yeah. they're shocked in one way, good way, bad way, we got a reaction, yeah. that's what we wanted. Yeah, so. the goal is for them to feel something. Yeah. <laughs> the only girl that we kind of know a backstory a little bit about is your character. Can you speak to, to her moral fiber uh, f from the background that we know? And then for you guys, did you kind of make up a background um, in your minds? I just knew that, you know, Harmony wanted us to become best friends, so I knew that these girls were friends for a long time, and they all kind of knew what the parts that they all played. Mm -hmm. I was definitely the baby of the group, so I was a little bit more naive and timid of certain situations, and then there's a whole, the whole religious aspect of my character as well, that that's her own battle that she has to face. Um, so I feel like, I think, in a way, I just wanted to feel like I grew up with these girls, and that was the backstory. It was just really kind of being the baby. I kind of pictured my character as a unit with Vanessa's, and so I would go on YouTube and I watched these two rappers, and they're these two girl rappers. They're super hood, like they're they're like gangster chicks. Which girls are these? Um, Cray Sean and V Nasty, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I showed Harmony, I was like, oh my god, these girls are crazy. Is it anything like, the, the, can I take certain elements of these girls and put it into Brit and Candy? He's like, I love those Go. girls because they're, they're <laughs> with Riff Raff too. And like that whole kind of hip hop vibe, I, I just watched them all the time and I watched their body language. They're very touchy and they were hardcore. They didn't give a damn about anything. <laughs> um, so that was that was fun. I mean, I loved, I loved watching it. I showed Vanessa a couple of videos and um, we, we took certain things that they would do and put in the character. Very cool. And you had a little bit well, to yours? I, yeah, I grew up in the South, and a lot of my friends were going on spring break like that, minus um, the, the violence and the crime. But um, I always wanted to go, and my parents were pretty strict. So I could relate to having that sort of pent-up aggression and energy and I sort of just touched back into that you know from my youth yeah. for breaking entertainment news and more follow at hitfix on Twitter or visit hitfix.com